Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a wet test on an Ispin sunscreen. So I hope you guys enjoy today's content. If you do, please give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, comment down below because all that really helps out my YouTube algorithm and it really helps me to create more content. So this is an Ispin sunscreen. It is SPF 50 plus. It is water resistant for 40 minutes and it's supposed to be very lightweight. And let's open this up. The sunscreen has 100% zinc oxide. And one thing that's very intriguing about this sunscreen is that it has a patent ingredient and it is called DNA Repair Zones. And DNA Repair Zones is a repair enzyme. It derived from plankton, which has been shown to help repair damage caused by the sun. And it also has vitamin E. And vitamin E is an antioxidant. Antioxidants are there to scavenge all the free radicals that your skin generates once it is exposed to sunlight. And free radicals can damage your skin. So I'm super excited to be using this sunscreen. Now this sunscreen was recommended to my friend by her dermatologist. Um, so this version doesn't have any tint. But for me, I like a tinted sunscreen. So I ordered a tinted version. But I'm going to test out this version because there are many people who do not like tinted sunscreens as well. And the texture is very silky. And it feels very lightweight. I'm going hiking today so I'm going to put all over my eyes and because it's a mineral sunscreen I know it's not going to burn my eyes but that absorbed into my skin really fast and it's blending out really really well and the finish is a little bit oily and the white cast is not that bad. Okay, so I'm going to apply another layer to see if there's any pill. Okay. And no pills. So the sunscreen feels really lightweight on my skin even after the second layer and the white cast is not that prominent there's just a hint of it and the finish is a little bit oily the sunscreen may be oily for oily skin for lips i'm going to apply my md solar sciences sunscreen this sunscreen is spf 30 and it is very very hydrating it is a chemical sunscreen And it doesn't have any weird taste to it. It has been more than 6 hours and this is how my skin looks like. Now I'm pretty surprised that the sunscreen did not get too oily for my oily skin. And also my skin is not drying. And even though I applied the sunscreen 3 times already today, but the white cast did not get any more um, cakey or any more white. And so I really like the sunscreen. Every time I reapply on my skin, my skin still feels very lightweight. And the sunscreen blends into the previous layers really, really well. And absolutely no pills. Even though the sunscreen doesn't have any fragrance, but there is a scent of a sunscreen in this um, formula. The scent does go away. Now this sunscreen reminds me of my Mario Sebasco sunscreen. This sunscreen is also very lightweight and it has the same silky texture. The Mario sunscreen has a less prominent white cast compared to the Eastern sunscreen and the consistency is a little bit thinner. And both sunscreens are not too oily for oily skin. Overall, I really like this sunscreen. I can't wait until my tinted version arrives. Although the packaging is kind of bulky, this is not something I'm going to carry around. It's something I'm going to put a first layer on in the morning and then apply something else I like. Because I like the skincare ingredients in here. 
me know if you know anything about this sunscreen and also that DNA repair zones. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I will see you on the next video. Bye.